wonderful pole camera. Find yourself relaxed, willing, and able to take all personally resonating information. Let's remember! What do we know? There is a secret! There is a plan! The university I attend is full of marshmallow-minded robots descended from the ancient Sith nations. And I desire a watery mecca. There have been tectonic developments! And you, dear person, or very smart cat, will bear witness to today's incredibly one-sided discussion, which I've split into two parts. Part one will be learning. Part two will be real-time progress on my wild agendas. Part one. I walked up to a man recently at my university and asked him, do you consider your people advanced? He said, yes. So I asked him, where have your people come from? What are you doing here? Where are you going? And he had no idea. No sit now minded person has any idea. I pressed on with the questions. Are you free? Do you value your day? Are you aware that every second you experience is the cutting edge of your personal life destiny, thus placing you at the forefront of time, which is a very powerful place? He had gone by this point. And list to the words of Henry David Thoreau. It's high time for a higher amount of collective clarity. You simply cannot follow the herd mentality of the week. The herd mentality of the week. If we are going to get anything worthwhile done in this short, short life. To strive for any type of goal as a collective, the collective must stop moving around in circles, grazing in paddocks where the profit-minded farmers say every day. The purpose of the left-brained objectivity we are subject to in our education training and slave training! Slave tra slave training! And slave! You're a slave! Must be re-examined. I give you Nietzsche. Objectivity must be understood not as contemplation without interest, which is a nonsensical absurdity, but as the ability to control one's pro and con and dispose of them, so that one knows how to employ a variety of perspectives and interpretations in the service for knowledge. So everything I say here has to pass through the filter of you. You either feel pros and cons or nothing. You must cultivate different ways of feeling about things in order to get what you want. Be this instantaneous happiness or long-lasting knowledge. So, whoever gets the most enjoyment wins. Or whoever learns the most in regards to their life destiny also wins. You do not win if the sum total of your experience here today is the impulse to tell me to put a shirt on. Clothes are for slaves! Anyway, once you discover that you are the source of everything you could experience, you begin sounding like Buddha. Who said? Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. This isn't a metaphor or a stress relief technique. It means do it now and do it always. For the present moment is all that ever actually exists. He means for you to be in a state of rest. To assume the state of an inanimate object without thought for long enough that you may find the underlying order in the chaos of the mind. This is connecting with the universal flow. For an ocean has crashing waves, but it also has gliding currents, which sustain the balance of the world. To be at rest of the body and mind allows the spirit to ignite. Tablet, some say written 35,000 years ago. I do not know. I cannot be sure. Simply listen to the words. That's what's important. Through order, ye shall find the way. Saw ye that the word came from chaos. Saw ye not that light came from fire. Look in thy life for this order. Balance and order thy life. Quell all the chaos of the emotions. And thou shalt have order in life. 
order brought forth from chaos. We'll bring thee the word of the source. Pay attention to how these words make you feel. Perhaps ask where those feelings come from in your body. Back now to Nietzsche. Genius resides in instinct. Goodness like vice. Fun acts perfectly only when one acts instinctively. Say! Can you feel the pattern evolving here? Listen very carefully to this. Anytime that something is described, the speaker is trying to represent a connection of ideas. A neural pathway. Pathway! A mind set which was once a mind habit. They are translating a feeling of being. People or words like Buddha, Nietzsche and Thoth representing a closer vibrational feeling of the divine and trying to work backwards to explain it to lower vibrational beings. They are saying, here, have more of these feelings, now, as I talk. Words show us not how to think but how to feel. Words are music. And what happens when word music is used to stimulate and endlessly perpetuate a Sitnaushan consumer society? Instead of, in the pursuit of light, love and happiness, Everyone gets full of shit. There's shit on the TV, shit on the radio, and a cowbrain society trained in the practice of saying no to whatever they don't want, rather than utilizing the present moment to connect with yes to whatever they do. The overwhelming choice placed millions in stasis. I know how many carbohydrates are in a Mars bar. I know that hydrogen and oxygen are in water, but what the hell are we doing? Where are we going? Is it the purpose of freedom if I repeatedly consume my culture off the bones of a dying world? This realization is in harmony with this spiritual path. It happens when you look down and say, ah! Who is realizing that I'm thinking these thoughts? And why don't I have any more problems? An acute freedom, awareness, and bliss washes over the body in the moment of the realization that you are a spiritual being in a physical body having a human experience. And more people are remembering every day. I intend to bring this feeling to as many people as possible, so my plan is to have a water slide party at my university this summer to show people gravity and water, how wondrous and free they can choose to be in any random moment of their lives, and to water slide their cow asses out of Farmer Joe's oppressive paddock and into the open arms of my watery mecca. Sometimes having a water slide can really help with spiritual development, you know? I mean, whatever. Water slides are kick-ass. Part 2. The Process. This man has created a series of YouTube videos that have blown my mind hole clear from my face. I highly recommend anyone watching this video you should go and watch all of his spirit science videos. Spirit science! This man also approves of the Atlantis King. And this is a wonderful, wonderful thing. That's <laughs> really fucking loud. I tell you this because we are combining our forces. Yes, the people, we are on a mission from the divine and sliding down the slippery, water slide resembling slope of destiny. I will be posting more Atlantis King more often. I will be doing ever intensifying tasks in the sole purpose of enhancing and expanding human consciousness and the gratification of the present moment. Jump on the bandwagon, people, it's gonna be a doozy. Sad down. Wheezy what's up? Wheezy wow! Oh, 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 oh. The bones of a dying world! Of the bones of a dying world! To water slide! Water slide! To water slide! The watery mecca. Shit on the radio, water, but I'm all, all I'm. Blah, blah, blah. So, 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 so. What are you doing? What am I doing? What is this? This is odd. What are you doing? Are you being odd? Odd's okay. Huh? Sweating in the fist. Is it the purpose of freedom to consume the. Oh my god. Of a human experience? I'm sounding Asian. Um, I'm currently filming. Could you perhaps just. Let him know that. Thank you so much. Come on. Hey. Oh. <laughs> what? I got that. I'm <laughs> just upside the corner of the frame on the phone. Just like, like, comment, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Word of the source.